Hello and welcome to Guitar Club Online. My name is Sai. In this video, we're going to be looking at the rhythm section to the Pink Panther theme. Chords such as minor chords, some seven chords, uh, nine chords, sorry. Some bar chords. And a very tasty chord at the very end. So uh, write any comments or questions below here and let's get cracking. So here we go. Um, the first section just has two chords in it. The first chord being an E minor, which is probably the easiest chord you'll ever play on guitar. So we've got a two on the A string here and a two below that on the D string which is a B note, and then below that makes an E note. Now we strum all the strings for this, all the other open strings, making sure our E is in the bass, so like this. At the very start, we let that ring out for two bars, that's eight beats, because there's four bar beats in a bar. Uh, we do a similar thing with the C9 chord, which is next, so a C9 chord's like this. We have a middle finger, our middle finger on the three on the A string, a two below that with our first finger on the D string, and a three and a three below that with our little finger at the bottom. So that's the middle four strings of the guitar. And we just strum down, but not hitting the E string at the bottom and the E string at the top. nice and clean chord. We hold that for four beats as well. In the next section, um, we play these chords on the offbeat and we stop it with our hands. So we're going to strum down the E minor chord and stop it with our hands. You can stop it anywhere you want. You can stop it with your left hand as well, but I'm using my right. Sometimes you get a nice slap there as well. So We've got four of those, and then four on the beat, actually five on the beat C9, so it goes like this. I'm going to hold that last chord for four beats for one bar. And that's going on whilst the other guitar's going. So that's our first two sections of the Pink Panther. You'll be able to play along um, with the backing track at the link below, and also the link below will be the sheet music for all three parts of this piece, and as well as the tablature, so check that out. You should see boxes of chords appearing around about here. If we continue with that second section, which is the B section, um, we have a repeat in it, which means the first time we play, we go back to the E minor, and then we end on an F chord, which is our first bar chord of the piece. Now this is quite a common bar chord, it's essentially your E major chord slid upwards. So if you play an E major chord, which is 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0. We reorder our fingers, not using the little finger, we reorder them so this one is free, first finger is free and able to bar. So we end up playing middle finger on the first fret, little finger above that on the second fret, second fret as well, and the third finger. We slide that up so we've got nothing, two, two, three, nothing, nothing. We bar that on the first fret and we play an F chord. So bar chords are all about using the strength of your, in your fingers and your thumb and your hand to help you out. If you're grabbing the guitar too high, you're gonna really struggle with that. So you wanna have your finger, your hand below the neck of the guitar. So I recommend doing a thumbs up, putting your thumb behind in the middle of the neck. So around about, how are we gonna see this? Right in the middle, somewhere here. In fact, I've got a line on my guitar. So I'm gonna put my thumb right on that line. So we do a thumbs up, 
put it behind, and then keep the bottom of your hand below there. And it gives you a really good hand position. You should have some space behind the uh, behind the bottom of the guitar here, not scrunched up at the top. Use your thumb um, to your advantage. Use the power in your hand to push that, to pull that in. It might take a bit of getting used to. There's a bar F chord. Then because that section repeats, we go back again all the way to bar seven. We play our e, four E minor chords, our four C9 chords. And this time we end in an E minor. Now we're going. So it goes. For one bar, and then a C7, which is essentially a C chord. With our little finger on the B flat. So that's the fourth string down. B flat, which is third on the G string. Now I don't play the open strings here on the top or the bottom. Some people do. We're going to leave them out and have a nice clean C7 chord. And then after two beats that changes to a B7 chord. I'll, I'll show you that a bit closer up. So we've got a normal C chord, a thumb behind, a bit of space underneath, and put our little finger down on the B flat. Then we've got a B7 chord, which is very much like a C7 chord, a C9 chord, sorry, that we just played earlier. So we have two the middle finger on the A string, two one two. So we've got that same triangle that we had in the in the C9 chord. But this time our little finger is going to go on the bottom string, leaving an open B string above it, like this. And we can strum all of them apart from this E string. So that section that goes... goes... And then we just have E minor, C9, C9, E minor. C9, E minor. Okay, next we have this chord I showed you at the beginning, which is the tastiest chord we've got in this piece. I hope you're keeping up. Uh, let me know if you need to, need to slow down or show any other parts. So this chord is a an open E, your first finger's going to do a bar starting from the A string, so you've got the first two notes, your little finger is going to play the five, this is quite a stretch this chord, a five on the D string and below that you've got to have four and four. Now that's nice on its own so you can just play that an open string at the bottom or a two if you're struggling with this so you can go that's the bottom four strings that's really nice but we're going to bar it and put the top two strings in or the bottom two strings no matter um, depending on how you, th you think about low and high strings of the guitar and all of those are like that you can also take that up an octave if you like and make that really easy to play easier I should say. 14, 16, 16, 17. You can even add the E string in. Really tasty chord. Next we have another bar chord uh, which is a G minor 7 which we see a lot of in this next section. Uh, so this is where the, the other guitars are going. got a G minor 7 which you can play barring the entire third fret keeping your thumb behind and putting your third finger on the A string now bar chords can be tricky so another way of playing this that is a bit easier 
would be missing out a bar altogether and playing a three on the top, three, 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 below that. Missing out the A string and the E string. Mute those two strings. So we're gonna have a first finger at the top, a gap of nothing, and then three, 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 below that. And we strum it. Don't do the bottom string. We don't want that note. And then there's a slight picking of these co this chord, so it goes. Which goes to our 9 shape, which we've had a C9 already. Slide that up from the 3rd fret to the 6th fret. So that goes. Back to G minor 7. And then we have more of those chords, more G minor 7s with a bit of strumming. So. so there I'm strumming the whole chord, and then I'm just strumming these two strings, the G string and the B string. So whole chord, and then three G string, B strings. Going to a D7, which is the same C7 chord, but slid up two frets. And only playing the middle four strings, so we want it nice and clean. We don't want any of these other strings ringing out because they're not in our chord. So there's our D7. Back to our G minor 7, which you can play either way you wish. You get that thumb at the back, mine keeps poking out. And then we also have an, following that, an E flat 7. Again, same shape as the C7, the D7, and the E. That's E flat 7. One higher, so that's a sixth fret. Six, five, six, four. So, so far in our C section, remember, that's the section it's part of, and this is the backing of it. Picking. Then we have a really cool section which goes. So we're going back to a sort of a G minor chord. It goes da da. Um, six on the bottom E string and five and five. So that's showing you a bit closer up. That's here. Six, five, five. I like to do a little bar. The bottom three strings. You could do it with two fingers. But you're going to then jump down to a G minor seven. Three more chords in this piece. A B flat seven. Followed by an A seven. And back to G minor seven. So a B flat seven is on our first fret. We're gonna to have to do a bar here. If not, I can you can do a sort of a power chord. It doesn't need a bar. It doesn't quite sound as as a uh, colourful. So you're gonna uh, bar the first fret. You're gonna play a three on the D string. That's three strings down, and the little finger on the B string, and the three as well. So you got three and three. Three and three there, nothing on this string, nothing on the top, the bottom two there. Uh, and you're going to strum not from the E string, but the second string down. And we catch on the way up. We don't play this string, on the way up we catch it, so we go. And to play the A chord, we move these two fingers down 
and we play an A7. So B flat seven. Slide down and take the bar off. To G minor seven. Then we have the guitar solo. Playing around the blues in E minor. Uh, we can go with an E minor chord and our C9 chord just over and over again. But to make that a bit more interesting and a bit more fun for us to play, we've got a bar here, which you can put the E in the bass. So we're up on the 7th fret, 3, 5, 7, barring the 7th fret, but leaving the open E string. So the bottom 5 strings. 7, 9, 7, 8, 7. Middle fingers on the 8. If we add, there's our, a closer view of that chord. If we had our little finger below our third finger, which is that's D string, and we had a G string, then it would just be an E minor chord. We want this D note in to give us a bit of a darker colour. You can even do some hammer on bottom string, 10th fret. Um, that's an E minor chord. We can also go to E minor 9, which is essentially our C7 shape, C9 shape, sorry, slid all the way up. And to make it minor, we have to drop the third, so we drop. Now this one, that is playing in 7, 8 goes to 5. Seven five seven seven, and we can strum all our strings here. Also, add in the seven in the bottom as well. Just mess around with these chords, and um, playing our little finger up one. It's nice to add some different colours in. So to our C nine shape. In the background, you've got some walking bass lines, and uh, you can. Go for a guitar solo, solo, E minor 9, E minor 7, C9. And then after that section, we go all the way back to the beginning, we play section A again, uh, and section B, and then we're done. We just end on this rather nice chord again. Just to show you that chord one last time. Okay, well thank you for watching, I hope you got something from that video. I will endeavour to make all future videos more to the point and a bit quicker as I get used to talking to camera and no actual humans being present. Um, write in the comments below, send me a message uh, to see what you think. Uh, there's going to be a bass version of this same piece going up, a tutorial for you to play along with, as well as the lead guitar melody. So look out for those, they should be coming soon. And uh, I'll see you around. Thanks for watching Guitar Club Online. <laughs>